in this vlog. Don't send me an <laughs> email. I have no idea where I'm walking up to. How to get started as a DJ. If I would advise, let's say, my kids or people that I love. Okay. I was just at the Brakkegon, that is where I had the email from. I had to go to pick up my tickets to the Brakkegon. But at the Brakkegon they say, no, you have to be at the Stad Schouwburg. That's the exact same place where I was last year. Don't send me an email. I got my tickets. <laughs> but I understand uh, at the Brakkegon they uh, shouldn't have told me because now I had some problems that they had checked me in and they could, couldn't give me the tickets. Uh, so confusion, confusion, confusion. People who work here don't know either what they're supposed to do. Yeah, let's pick a class. I just had a very interesting conversation with a person from Romania that ran a studio, a recording studio. Last year I had an experience with someone that flat out said in my face, what the f*** are you doing here? For the passion and not about the money. He was so focused on the money and that was the total opposite of the guy that was I was running into. Foremost of all, I want to be, I want to stay myself and I want to come there by my own who am I and not with an image that someone projected of me and not by music making making money of my music in the first place it's because of the passion and I think that a lot of younger DJs uh, only see the positive side of, of, of the business of making money the chicks the, the fame but it has to be about the passion, the passion for music. Well, the first day of the ADE is coming to an end for me. Uh, tomorrow, the second day, now I'm on my way to the train station. And I'll see you tomorrow. ADE day two. I had to pick up my tickets again and again. <laughs> the same old problem. Do you have a barcode? No, I don't have a barcode. Yep, so but you're two times in the system. I can check you in. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Just solve it. I don't care how you solve it, but solve it. So, the question of the day, how to get started as a DJ. Of course, that's a very, very broad topic. Of course, it's about the technique, about learning the skill of being a DJ, uh, how to mix, uh, but also the skill of uh, how to produce a track, get to know your, your DAW, for example. But it's it's more than that. It's, it's, it's also about networking, meeting people, go to events like ADE for example and if you're living in the Netherlands uh, it's maybe too late to go to ADE now uh, but in the spring there is dance fair for example those are the places where to meet people and those people can help you over here you can meet the managers over here you can meet the record labels over here you can meet everyone you need to help your career but not only on events, but also, of course, on social media, on SoundCloud, for example, on, on Twitter or, or Instagram, for example. I have no idea where I'm walking up to because it has no access. But I need to have a quiet space back to the event. And I 
started everything from scratch because the album was so safe. It was so, it was actually, it was boring. Okay, that was the second day of AD. Um, I have to be honest, the contents of the classes are a bit disappointing, uh, even for the second day. I only uh, was at the Lamar uh, because I thought by judging on the class that was the most interesting. Well, that was definitely not the case, so I won't do that again. Uh, but I want to leave you with one last piece of advice that David Guetta gave us. If I would advise, let's say, my kids or people that I love, and I, I love that you know a lot of younger people they want to do uh, what we did. Uh, I think it's just very simple. It's it's all about overworking everybody else, and that's what it's about. You know, if you're in for the right reason, you know, the right reason to be in is to love music. It's not the lifestyle. You know, a lot of DJs they go in for the lifestyle. I I was there for the music. So if you're able to spend you know, hours and hours and hours practicing, then you're gonna be the best. Talent is completely overrated. You know, uh, uh, talent is 15%, but you know, the rest is a little bit of luck and a lot of work and practice. You know, Ronaldo is better than the other one just because it's practicing more, it's training more, it's the same for music. I kid you not, he said exactly the same thing as I said yesterday, exactly from this spot. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell. And also, you can subscribe to my mailing list to receive my new videos in your mailbox. Thanks for watching, bye.